Hello, and welcome to this video from Zenitel. In this video, we will demonstrate how to install and configure VS OPC Classic Server. This video applies to both AlphaCom XE and ICX AlphaCom series servers. First, we need to enable the OPC ports in the ICX or AlphaCom server. Log in to the web interface. Navigate to System Configuration, followed by Filters. Enable the OPC ports for the interface required and press Save, followed by Apply. We will assume that you have already installed the API license. Start by unzipping the OPC Classic Server package downloaded from AlphaWiki. Then, double click on the installer file. Press Next. Choose a location to install the software to. Press Next. Press Next to finalize the installation. You will be asked by user access control to authorize the install. Once installed, press close to finish. In File Explorer, navigate to the OPC Core Components folder, as shown in the link below. Install the OPC Core Components Redistributable x86.msi. Follow the directions on the screen to complete the installation. If the PC is running a 64-bit version of Windows, please install the OPC Core Components Redistributable x64.msi, following the same process. Next, install the Visual C Plus Redistributables if not already installed on the machine, located from the path below. Next, navigate to the OPC Classic installation directory as shown below and right-click on regserver.exe and select Run as Administrator. Installation of VS OPC Classic for AlphaCom is now complete, and it's time to configure. Locate shortcut to AlphaCom OPC Configurator in the Start menu. Take a moment to observe the setup. First, we need to point the server to the ICX or AlphaCom server IP address and choose the correct OPC port to connect to. Then, we need to nominate all the node numbers that are connected in AlphaNet. Add the node numbers as configured in Alpha Pro by typing the number in the box and pressing Add. Next, we need to nominate all the master stations that are connected in AlphaNet. Add the master stations in node and station format and press Add. Perform this for each master station associated with an operator position for OPC control. Next, we configure the remote control outputs, remote control inputs and local groups. Select a node from the list. Check the RCO box for enable and the range of RCO. Check the RCI box for enable and the range of RCI. Check the enable local groups for enable and the range of groups. These will now be available to the OPC client. For diagnostic logging of the OPC server, check the enable logging box and enter a file name. You can export the configuration file by checking enable XML file export and typing a file name in the box. To finalize installation, press save configuration. You can now close the AlphaCom OPC server configurator. Installation and configuration of the Vinter Stentafon OPC server is now complete. OPC clients may now connect to the server. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit our web pages at zenitel.com and our wiki pages at wiki.zenitel.com.